in order to help us understand some of the terms and descriptions of Mount Lord, we need to have a basic understanding of the pH scale. The pH scale is an indication of acidity or alkalinity of materials and substance and is measured between 0, which is acidic, and 14, which is alkaline. We give pH neutral a range of between 6.5 and 7.5 on the scale. So when we mention an item that may be acid free, we are really referring to it as being pH neutral. So now how do we test for alkalinity or acidity? A simple way of doing that is by using this pen, which is a pH testing pen. What I would expect to see on an alkaline board or paper is when I mark the paper or board then I would expect to see this line as purple and you can see that that is purple indicating that it's got a pH value of above 6.8 which therefore is alkaline. If that line had gone yellow or if it was colourless then that would indicate that this board was acidic. So let's now just try it on this piece of artwork. Down the bottom corner where there's no, uh, where we can't see it, and there you can see that it's purple, and that purple means that this is alkaline. I would like to now mention about mount board. There are basically two formats for mount board. Firstly, solid board, which is solid throughout. And this is obviously either alpha celluloids or made from cotton linters, solid. The second type is a composite board, and that comprises of a facing paper, which is normally coloured, the pulp in the middle, and the backing papers. And again, these can either be made from cotton linters or alpha celluloids of 84% or greater. Both of those types of board are used quite regularly in conservation framing. There are several requirements for conservation boards. Mount board used in conservation framing is either made from 100% cotton linters or has an alpha celluloid content of greater than 84% and a ligdin content of less than 0.65%. No optical brightening agents should be used and as far as cotton, lint, cotton board there should be no post or pre-container waste. It is best practice in conservation framing that all the boards are the same quality and have a minimum thickness of 1100 microns. Boards may be buffered and buffering with calcium carbonate increases the alkalinity of the boards. Normally boards that have been buffered have an alkalinity of round about 7.5 to 9.5 on the pH scale. In addition some manufacturers add an alkaline reserve this can be between 2% and 5%. Again, this is calcium carbonate. And what the effect does is that it increases the longevity of the board and attacks those free acids that have a pH value of less than 7. Because of the slightly acidic nature of some dark room developed photographs, buffered board is not ideal to be used in, in these cases and so manufacturers make board that is completely unbuffered and has a pH value of 6.5 to 7.5 and as I've said this is used mainly in the mounting and framing of photographs. Whilst many museums will use cotton rag board which is the best quality board there is no reason why conservation framers should not use conservation quality board 